Hey folks, I'm Surveying Glory, and welcome to part 15 of my playthrough as the Chief of Marmarus in Crusader Kings 2. Uh, so, the purpose of this campaign is just to try and survive as the Chief of Marmarus, um, Chief Vladimir of Marmarus, because uh, I reckon that uh, if we survive all the way through to 1440, or 1430-ish, uh, Vlad Tepish, the inspiration for Dracula, will be born. So the not looking to go out and conquest very much, but it's a, probably a good thing because I keep getting murdered, my armies keep getting slaughtered because my liege uh, is just constantly at war. He's losing territory, I'm pretty sure they used to have more than that. Um, so anyway, keeps being at war with people, I keep getting massive armies arriving in my territory or just catching me out whenever I go wandering. So it's getting a bit annoying, and he's not even that uh, militaristic. I wonder if it's worth trying to kill him. We could get near enough there. Um, but I could also try this. Yeah, let's try a Tainted Touch. We've got about 3,000 Dark Power, I think. So, we'll go ahead and see if we can't kill him without being suspect. So our provinces uh, aren't too bad a shape. We've done quite a bit of improvements and that one's ended. We can do more in here but we're working on that and when we conquered Dabov, we discovered that it was already quite well developed there. And also there's a temple that we can upgrade. And we've got the cash for it. Uh, so the Holy Wars ended. So now my liege will turn his focus to this guy. And probably lose heavily. What's the... <laughs> of course, that's why these massive armies keep landing on top of me. I did think a few years ago when our liege granted this high chiefdom on us. Well, I conquered the two provinces. Uh, this is the only one that's left to add in. And the liege made me the high chief, and I did think that would make me a prime target for these guys. Anyway, it seems like my Claude of Ostevo was sort Successful. However, the result was not quite what I imagined. I had hoped a rapacious blasphemer, King Throgmer II, would be stricken by a mysterious case of pox or plague, but he got the flu only. Okay, so how many troops have you got left? 6,000. And you're on your own because I can't do anything to help. I've got about 2,000 maximum levy I can raise, uh, but that requires me to have my lands under my control. 3,815 light cavalry. Ah, no longer wounded. And that army went where? In here? No, there it is. Surprised you'd split up like that. Looks like you're going to win anyway. I'm now known as the Lame. At least I wasn't captured. Where am I anyway? Am I leading troops or something? In Gerner, to build legend, I am my liege's steward. As he's growing older, I can see that Vladimir could use some guidance in some of my experienced areas. This is my son and heir. Let's make him ambitious. 
I was at one point looking for a wife, um, and I decided to hold off to see... Yeah. Let's marry her, if we can. Good. Stewardship. Ironically, there's one thing that I really needed improved. Not too bothered about Marshall, because I don't plan to be fighting very much. But never mind. She doesn't like me too much. I don't think I want a possessed wife. Probably not a good idea. Uh, so we have been conquered. But that's actually a good thing because uh, oh is your claim on space we can call in our allies but you've got far too many troops yeah, I'd hoped that I'd be able to just snipe that final province away from under his nose. Unfortunately not. Okay, I'm not um, improving any of my settlements right now. I'm just going to leave these messages, let them disappear by themselves. Uh, I'm trying to keep my prestige for a while. Your ambition is to become exalted amongst men. I... Should I try and... Let's invite her to carousing first. The werewolf. You've been nervous for the last couple of nights, sleeping restlessly, feeling a strange pull in your mind. During the days you've been tired, but also tense with anticipation, sensing something important arriving. Now, at night, as you wake and see the full moon rise, you finally understand. It's the moon. It speaks to you. It is time to rise. Time to become the wolf. Time to go out. Time to be free. Time to lose your mind to the moon madness. Arr Personal combat skill at plus ten. Oh, what? You run through the night seeking prey. You eventually find it and you pound, staring, slashing, gouging, and all the while howling like the wolf you are. And then the panicked screaming stops. I guess you won't be coming carousing then. I just killed my genius wife. You wake in the morning, but you feel as though you hadn't slept at all. You vaguely remember having nightmares. You seem to have something wet and sticky on your chest. As you look down, you realise that you are covered in blood. It's clearly not yours, and you don't remember how it got there. There is something about it, however, that awakens a vague exhilaration in you. Again, plus two Marshall. Okay, sorry my dear, um, I would hope for a longer marriage, but never mind. Complicate... Ah! Oh, it was only, I thought it was my, uh, there was another wife in there, no. So that's only my second wife that's dead. Uh, that other genius is now gone. Quick. Quick and brawny. But we're not likely to have kids. Okay, how about... Attractive. But slow. Attractive and grey eminence. You don't like me too much. Uh, but never mind, we're going to go for it. So much for uh, saving up our prestige. And I think we did get prestige from that deal. Ah. So you are from a royal line.
the Kingdom of Denmark, that would be good. Um, now let's invite you to carousing. Oh, well, sit yourself. I promise I wouldn't have ripped you to shreds. The marshal's up at 12 now. <laughs> no one can make it. It's strange. I want to check out two and a half thousand men now. Why don't we just cancel this disconsent? Oh yeah, they, that's just, I've got a different liege now. I have toiled devoutly in my endeavour to follow the path of Perrin. In his name I have practised my axemanship and spent many hours strategising at the war table with my commanders. As a result, my martial skills have been improving. I get another plus one martial. Well, let's see what we can potentially do under this new liege. Hmm. Transfer vassalage. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm not sending him a vassal. No, there's nothing there, really. Children are all grown up. Okay, we'll just leave that for now. Nothing really worthwhile there. I have encountered Uchinik Puchyaika many times while carrying out my duties for the Cold Ones, and it is always a pleasant occasion. Um, yeah, let's become friends. If we can. And also, I'm now in a much better position to. Well, I don't know the main. Well, 500 is enough to be getting on with. You march into there and we'll have you join up. Young Vladimir has finished his education in stewardship and got the basic skills required. You can do with a wife. Let's go back to this. Arrange betrothal. No, never mind that then. So I've got Vladimir the Third and just a normal Vladimir. Oh. Any geniuses here? Wrath and greedy. Stubborn, but she's arbitrary. Not actually that good for a genius. And you're the genie. How about quick characters? I'm a bit too old. Hmm. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can marry you off here. You've agreed, fantastic. Now, toggle looter here. Where do we go? Maybe uh, better off in. Well, this army is. 
Only 42. Let's go and say hello to our old liege. Okay. When my wife's mare had to be put down, I promised Geror that I would find a new suitable ride for her. Now I am in luck. Not only one, but three different mares have been brought to Marmoros. Uh, let's go for the white mare. And you're going in a different direction. No, you're not. You're coming in this direction. Oh well. It did look like you were heading into Xanad. But once again, my martial prowess demonstrates the fact that I shouldn't rely on it. Okay. I guess I'm not going to go raiding then. Maybe I should slow down a bit, pay more attention. I think I've said that before though. Uh, okay, nothing of importance there. Not false confessing faith, or worshiping ancestors. Let's compose a book. 50 gold, or search for a smith. But again, they don't have the cash really. But I'll invite a disciple. Just see if that. Is that this guy? Is this the disciple? Or is this just coincidence? Well, he's good, but no, he's not in the cold winds. So, a point commander. And my daughter was born to Vladimir. That was quick. And we will give you for intrigue. Yeah, pride. Finally, my devout servant has arrived. Well, this is the member of the cold ones. Oh, very good intrigue. So, absolutely switching you in there. Welcome to, welcome to my court. I think options are going to be in Pannonia. It does seem to be on the receiving end a lot of the time. Uh, so. Um, let's send you, that's where you were, <laughs> into there. Train trips, please, in Marmoros. You build me a legend. I will just leave you scheming for now. until I get a better option. My wife is pregnant. Fantastic. I really want to take this. Your heir is just some diviner. Who is also your son. Never mind.
Let's invite our liege to carousing. See if we can't get on his good side. Like swine. Am I not good enough for the likes of you or something? And I need a new chancellor. Let's make my son our chancellor. And you try and fabricate a claim for me. Technological advances over here, I think. Take siege equipment. Or. Uh, I'll take military organization. Town infrastructure, maybe. And Majesty, I think. Legalism is fine. The tumultuous death of Samsam Yagbomak presents an excellent opportunity for us to declare our independence. <laughs> Seriously? Six thousand troops to my one and a quarter. We shall stay loyal, of course we shall. Oh, not again. Oh, well, that's a positive one, I think. Uh, secluded rest, maybe. Yeah, improve her health. Resting in the dark has really helped my wife calm herself and clear her head. She looks in much better health and ready to deliver a strong child, just as I had hoped. Excellent. My wife's mail that I just bought. Oh, no, was that my last mate? My last wife. Um... Yeah, go for that. Actually, let's uh, give it an honorary title as well. Court Tutor. It occurred to me that my wife is feeling somewhat gloomy as of late. I just bought a horse. Um, okay. Buy her something nice. This better be some super kid. That she delivers. I think I need to try and abduct some people and ransom them back. A new clan has risen in Yagumak under Kankiza of Kisaid. What is this? A couple of new clans. Uh, a lot of people have declared their independence, it seems. Kazaria is huge. Peace be with you. We've decided to offer you the position of commander. I shall accept. Just don't expect me to do so much. Move a new son. He's sickly. Well, you're going to struggle then, aren't you? There's 1,700 men now. I think it's just about time to go back and do some more looting. Yeah, I think we will. My court physician, Milos, is worried about my newborn son. I'll try and treat him. While little Aaron appears slightly weaker than other children his age, I swear he is much more energetic than he was a couple of weeks ago. He might not be out of the woods quite yet, but the worst has passed. Excellent. And...
it's still minus 1.5 uh, in terms of his health. Oh, good, I'm not being called into this war. Songs of Anguish. My nights are plagued by terrible nightmares featuring the vile Omertag Permiakid, my rival brother in winter. Uh, let's invite him over and have some fun. Okay. It took some work to find three genuinely insane musicians, but as they start up their demented tune and the fires are lit underneath the bill, I lean back and realise it was all worth it. 200 dark power. Which I'm not really using much of. I think it's been long enough that we can get away with something. So, let's see. Uh... I wonder. Unholy impregnation. Do we have followers in here? Female followers, I suppose. You're not really anybody. So... Why can't we... She's a follower, isn't she? Portrait of a female follower of Chernobog in order to summon a Liko. Um, we're still members of the Cold Ones. We'll do it that way then. Yeah, there she is, there. Okay. Um, do I not have... No, I'll get plenty of dark power. Oh well, that's a bit disappointing. Let's carry on. In fact, I'm going to put a break in here. And we'll try and get up to more mischief next time out. Uh, I will spend some power to invite another disciple. Let's see if that maybe helps us. Um, but for now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave a comment and rate the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and hope to see you again next time. Cheers.